Hey everyone, welcome back to another classy video. And I'm sure if you're seeing this, you've probably already seen the ratings or artings, however you say it, uh, review of the LG C1. And probably have noticed that they had horrible out of the box color accuracy. And I knew something had to be wrong. They even said in their review that they may have gotten a bad unit or something. Uh, well, that wasn't the case and I want to talk about that for a few minutes. Uh, it's going to be a quick video. So right here you can see I am setting mine up to the same settings that they used to test. They were using expert dark mode set to 2.2 gamma when it defaults to 2.4 and they also had turned on the peak brightness setting to high and spoiler that's why their color accuracy was so bad. Turning on the peak brightness setting destroys your color accuracy and they didn't know that. Um, I've pointed this out to them in the comments and uh, we'll go over what they said at the end of this. But I'm just showing here how much it affects the color accuracy and you know I get that it's called you know peak brightness it doesn't seem like it should do anything to the colors but it really does and that's the problem with assuming things. And I do want to say that I do really like Artings, I use them all the time, and I think they are a good source, and they are human too, and they make mistakes. And a lot of people, you know, when a major publication or someone that they think is reputable does make a mistake, well then they kind of cancel them out and move on to the next one or whatever, and I'm not saying do that at all. Um, I hope that they update their review and fix that error. Uh, but I do think other people need to also realize that just because they are a, you know, major publication, you know, professional, etc., that they are still a business, they are paying employees to do this, and they do have cookie cutter testing where they do the same thing year over year to the TVs, and they don't spend the time that other people that, you know, just buy a TV are willing to spend to test everything out all the way. So they use the same modes that were best on years prior without testing the new modes or any changes that may have happened year over year. And so that's an issue where you're using ISF dark, which is supposed to be around 150 nits, and you're enabling the peak brightness to then take your brightness measurements in the dark mode instead of using expert bright where all you have to do is change the color gamut setting to auto detect from native and it would match or in my case slightly exceed the accuracy of ISF dark and then use that mode for your brightness measurements but again you should also test and see that the peak brightness setting is going to throw off the color accuracy so anyway I went through and I did measurements using the settings that they were using and show the luminance adjustments that again in ISF dark should not be measuring that high and that with the peak brightness turned off the color accuracy was measuring well below the delta air of 3 and with peak luminance on high was hitting a max of 7 which is just really bad uh, it's fairly similar to the results that they had achieved with the peak brightness setting on high. So after trying to figure out what was wrong with their results for a little bit, I realized that at the start of the review for the brightness, they said that they had peak brightness on high, and then down in the color range it didn't mention that at all. So I asked them in the comments and they did confirm that it was on high, that they thought it was a backlight control only setting and wouldn't have an effect on the colors but it does. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I still like Artings. I think they do good work, um, but you just got to keep in mind that they are expanding a lot. They're doing a lot of TVs and now headphones and just all kinds of different stuff and hiring and I'm sure they're just rushed and short staffed and so on. So there will be errors from time to time, even if they are a larger publication at this now. You know, there used to be a time when everyone went to CNET for TV reviews. Now I never see anyone bring them up, even though David Katzmeyer is still there and still doing the TV reviews there. You know, it's just the 
recommended review places change every few years and everyone has to start somewhere so anyway I hope they do update their review um, so here's what I had said to them and their reply they said they would keep that in mind for moving forward but didn't say anything about going in retesting you know remeasuring and updating the review which I think would be important for them to do because it's very misleading right now to tell people that this is the color accuracy that they're going to get out of the box when it's not. They enabled a setting that was disabled which hurt the color accuracy on the accurate mode. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.